Um, guilty. 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 Guilty, 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 guilty. How's that, Mom? There you go, Mom. Great. My kids, your kids, face lots of challenges, some of which can knock them off balance. I don't want my kids off balance. I want them to know what to expect and to know how to handle what's coming their way. I can't rely on the schools to teach them everything they need to know, and I'm not about to let the street dictate what experiences they might have with cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, or teenage sex. I don't condone any of these things, but I won't live in a fantasy world. These dangers are out there, tempting my kids and yours. With that in mind, I've decided to meet the street halfway. For my kids. Better they learn it from me. First, take a cigarette paper, or skin as slang has it. I'm not sure why it says 1.5 since you only need one. Okay, fold the paper about a third of the way up and create a little pouch. Retain the pouch shape with one hand and with the other Pinch the oregano between the index finger and thumb. This oregano feels very fine. I believe that marijuana usually isn't. There can be stems and seeds, since it is, of course, a plant. If you have the time, you'll want to clean your marijuana. Now for the tricky part. Squeeze the pouch and roll the paper forward at the same time. You'll want to roll it tightly, but not too tight. There we go. Make the paper cooperate. You'll see some is falling out the end. 
That's why it is good to have a plate underneath. The paper has a little adhesive strip on one side. Lick the little strip. This one tastes a little funny. Maybe they come in different flavors. Ah, you can see it's loose. It's falling everywhere. I surely didn't fill it with enough. After a few tries, you'll learn the right amount to put in. And then you give a little twist to the end. Almost done. There you have it. Save the rest of the oregano and clean up after yourself. Remember, practice makes perfect. Which sandwich will I get? Hey, how's it going? Say okay. Say everything is okay. Cool. Yeah, you know, same old, same old. No, that makes you sound not proud of your achievements. Like, say something positive. Uh, well, you know, some good, good things are happening. You know, some accolades and kudos, you know. Nothing, um... Too crazy big, but you know, pretty, pretty good. Well, definitely keep me posted. Okay, I will. Ask them about them. Ask them something. Um, how are you doing? I'm great. You know, I've been working in the garden a lot. And oh, I just had a baby and I went on vacation and I got married, yeah, and I quit my job and I started a new business and I broke my leg, yeah, and my cat got put to sleep, yeah, it's sad, but you know, she was old, yeah. And I built a dark room in my apartment, yeah, and I stopped eating wheat and oh, I got cable, yeah, it's great. I mean, you know, whatever, it's nice, right? I love the Discovery Channel and I learned how to knit. Okay, well, see ya. Okay, see ya. Ugh, you are so negative and boring. You're not doing anything like that. You haven't exercised in so long. And you don't go on vacation. You don't have fun really at all. When have you ever really had any fun, like a motorcycle trip to Mexico or something? Can I have a sandwich, please? Would you like everything on it? Yes, no mail. So, how's everything going today? Mm, pretty good. Yeah. A little weird, actually. What do you mean, weird? I don't know. I just had this weird interaction with this person on the street. You know, like they're doing all this stuff in their life, and you know, it's all kinds of normal stuff, and they're, and I, and I didn't really know what to say. And, I mean, it's just kind of like. Hot peppers? Yeah, like I just start tripping out. Like I'm really different from the rest of the world and then I can't have a normal conversation like to save my life. All in vinegar? And also, when I do talk, my brain says, don't say that. <laughs> Here's his sandwich. God damn it! No mayo, not mayo, no sandwich. Ugh. Nobody listens to me! Stupid idiot. You can't even order a sandwich, right? You're a freak. You should just give up. Throw in the towel. You are not meant to communicate with others. It had made itself clear to me that I was not meant to communicate with others. I decided to take a vow of silence. And now I go into the world. Quietly. I'm gonna be one of those people, those quiet people, thoughtful with sandals on mysteriously, like a ghost that moves like a ghost, a windy ghost, whispering by, barely detectable. Then somebody opened a door for me. 
Here, let me get the door for you. Thank you, I thought. I thought thank you with my eyes, but it did not translate. Because then I heard him say under his breath, Fucking cunt. So I tried another tactic. But he could not read lips. What do you think I am, a lip reader? At home was safer. No one to talk to. I could just busy myself doing things quietly around the house. Okay, getting dressed now. Okay, looking good. Mm, Just doing the dishes. Wash, wash, wash the dishes, Mr. Plant. You look thirsty. Need some water. Oh, Mr. Cat. Hello, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hello, kitty. Talking to oneself, even in a vow of silence, is still not allowed. FYI.
Thank you. You're welcome. Can I borrow some moisturizer? Lots of people have told me that I'm too negative, too dark, too sensitive, and that I need to take a walk on the sunny side of the street. But if there's one thing I've learned after years of struggling with panic, anxiety, and ongoing depression, is that there's plenty of us over here on the side of the street where it's consistently overcast. Don't be afraid of the dark. Reach out your hand, you'll hit someone like you. Everyone's here in the dark You might not see me, but I'm out here too I hit my kids and have problems with rage. Fuck you. That's where there's ice cream and county mental health services I'm obsessed with frequent flyer miles. If I don't get points, I don't want to live I earn a hundred sky miles each time I visit my cognitive behavioralist I write angry poetry about all the goddamn new shirts Merton keeps buying me you should read my journal. Oh, can I? No, but my therapist can. Don't be afraid of the dark. Lions and war kill kids in their beds. Global warming and more. The poor. Drink more caffeine and just stay on your meds. I bite my fingernails down to bloody stumps. Who doesn't? I hate the environment and dolphins in forests. Sometimes I masturbate to my client's headshot. I can't believe you still have my headshot. I live in an alcoholic blackout because I'm a gay, homosexual, transgender woman. You're not going to remember me telling you this, but you're not alone. Don't be afraid of the dark. There's nothing to fear because we're all terrified. To the dark. Desperation is normal. Call a hotline. Tonight. I have unwanted thought syndrome. A little known version of obsessive compulsive disorder that made me avoid all eye contact and especially knife drawers. I've been through treatment for depression. I'm 36 and have no kids. I've never been married. I have three separate addictions. And sometimes I weep uncontrollably for absolutely no reason at all. But I'm staying on my meds and drinking plenty of Diet Coke. I'm sort of a wee Mac. I'm kind of a grump. I'm afraid of my baby. I can't take a dump. I shop to numb feelings. I can't stand the sun. I guess I hate God. I don't like to run. Don't be afraid of the dark. Just call me if you wish you were dead. Hey, it's all right.
took advantage of our media all night staying here for 30 days. Oh no! Judgment against me? All will be judged! All will be judged! Again, this is the Warren Township Walk of Fame. Let's hear it for the Warren Township Walk of Fame. And a good use of the theme, 30 days. That's fine. 